Your predictions for 2023 are all time stamped and linked together so that you can binge watch the entire year ahead. We have episode one is your general overview. Episode two is love time stamped for in relationship, in situationship, and new love. Episode three is for money, and episode four is about your career. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. I'm so pleased to have you here, and Happy New Year, my friends. My beautiful Jim Jims, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. We are looking at your 2023 career overview. Let's see what the energies are coming in. I'm seeing great news. People are really making head over heart decisions to be joyful in career and you are opening with the card of deep knowing gemini you are very much in the energy of self-understanding having wisdom having knowledge in a very spiritual sort of state of being right now unfinished symphony so there is something that you plan on doing you plan on completing something this year. You have a project, you have a career path that you want to follow that you're going to continue working on. I love it, writing a screenplay, a symphony, whatever it is. We have the energy of flexible. Well, Gemini, you're known for your flexibility. That's what Geminis are. Air signs are the most flexible in the zodiac, okay. So let's look and see what the current energy is in the flow and see what the year looks like. We have pre-shuffled, so we're going to do two more shuffles for Gemini. I hope everyone's doing well. This is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, check out your moon rising in Venus. Five of Wands, you have competing projects going on this year. Leo energy, you're really determined. You're, you're pretty, I would call, I would say actually hellbent on completing and wrapping up a lot of things this year. You want to make a big transition in your career. You want more time for friends, happiness, joy, and playfulness. And you're really very methodical. The Hermit is Jim, um, this is Virgo energy, Scorpio a uh, cancer and leo so you're going to take the slow road back well you're already successful so when we get this when we get these readings you know when we get these cards and a reading we're really seeing that you have this mapped out you already know what you're going to do you know what you're going to wrap up you know what you want to change and with the Hermit card, we really see that you've searched for answers. You're in a very good spiritual place. And your money looks like it's excellent. So you're very secure in yourself. You're very secure in the changes that you want to make. So, okay, so let's shuffle the cards again and see what we have. Let's see for our Gemini friends, okay. So Gemini, the situation as we see it right now is a moon card. So this is also, I call it, a very covert energy. It is Pisces energy. You're working alone behind the scenes. You are not talking about your job or what your projects are or what your progress is to anybody else. This is very Pisces energy, 12th house, that which is hidden. We get the energy, here you are, single, ready to mingle, making good money. So your money is very, is excellent. It looks like you're also increasing your abundance this year. Um, we get the energy of eight of coins. You are improving a skill set. You are going to make more money this year because there's something that you're doing that's going to help you hone your skills, perfect your skills, and come into yet more abundance. We have the Innocence of Pentacles, which is a page of Pentacles. So you're taking small steps to move forward. We saw the Hermit card, that Virgo energy, kind of a slow-moving energy. So we have Virgo here appearing. Your people get glimpses of what you're doing but they have no idea of the large scale that you're going to move in this year and you're keeping it to yourself the five of coins is it does look like for some of you 
there could be a loss of income in one particular area of your life. But when we look at the Five of Coins, I want to remind you that this is a card of perception more than reality. You know, without having other, you know, other determining factors around the Five of Coins, it really speaks to the fact that the solutions are there. The Fives are just, you're juggling, you're, you have different competing priorities, and sometimes you drop the ball and you feel disappointed in yourself and you feel overwhelmed but it is an energy of taurus so it does speak to the fact also that you meet you need to move away from earned income a little bit more i'm seeing that you are still having to work harder than you want we get the two of cups and uh, a partnership, business partnership, love partnership is coming in. This is soulmate energy. I think this is something you don't see coming because you're very focused on being single. But I feel as though in work, you're going to have collaborations. You're going to have in your personal life, a love comes into your life and really changes what you perceive in terms of how much you want to devote to your career. So the Two of Cups indicates that you're very happy you could meet a soulmate in your career, um, but it looks as though you're going to, you're in a very soulmate energy, and we can have soulmates in our career. So for those of you, you know, this is a career reading, so I'm looking at this as a partner. Even, you know how sometimes you say, well, that's my work husband or wife. So that's very powerful energy this year, but collaboration is going to pull you out of this feeling of being alone, like it. We have judgment card, releasing that which doesn't serve you. So you're gonna make some decisions this year that are going to, you're going to let some things go, you're gonna focus on what you value the most, what gives you the best bang for the buck for your time, so you can devote more time to your personal life. There we go, the Knight of Pentacles, one of my favorites. The Knight of Pentacles is slow-moving energy. It says that basically the circumstances around you this year are slow-moving. You don't have to do anything in a hurry. It's more important for you to hone your skills, to perfect what you're presenting to the world, and you have movement forward that in to whatever your project is so far, you have not been satisfied with the result. And so we see this this sort of energy where you're really improving, you're working hard, you're moving slowly, but you're moving in a very steady way and very stealthy. We get the Ace of Swords. The truth of the matter is, is that you know exactly what to do. The Ace of Swords is cutting through any obstacle this year. You have the power. And we have the Five of Wands returning again now, instead of at the bottom of the deck, Five of Wands, having a hard time prioritizing. Five of, fives are always about conflict, strife, difficulty. So we're gonna dig into that energy. Why else do we have the Five of Wands here, the death card? I'm really getting that for some of you, you may absolutely, you may not see a form of income lessening or falling off. The death card is the five of wands says that you can't keep doing five things. You know, it looks like you're juggling way too much and it is impacting your health and how you feel about your life. Ten of swords though, I'm going, I have to say it now. There's no doubt about it that some of you may, um, have a source of income through work that's eliminated. Ten of Swords says that you could be stabbed in the back. It could be something that's hidden. It could be things like a layoff. It could be a downsizing. It could also be a company that you work for, uh, you know, going out of business, shuttering their doors, or changing dramatically how you get paid. Like, for instance, if you work on a platform and you're an Uber driver, it may get restructured in a way that you just feel it's not tenable. Let's see what else we have here. Two of Wands, you're left making a decision. You do have two options though. You do have, um, you're at a crossroads. We get Nine of Cups, you're going to choose what makes you happy, Gemini. That's a wonderful energy. 
what makes Gemini happy? Many of you are still going to juggle two different options. We get the energy that Page of Swords, you're on the internet working. Some of you may be doing some publishing, some work on YouTube. I see the honing of skill set. What else do we have? Temperance card. You're balancing everything out for the year. So even though you are throwing some curveballs, you end the year in this beautiful Queen of Cups energy. Very happy. You like, you know, you really, really like how the year turns out. You feel nurtured. You feel as though everything worked out for the best. So let's clarify these cards of deception, of feeling left in the cold. Okay, so let's see what that's about for you. What's the moon card? Why is the moon card here for our Gemini friends? The moon card is here. Nine of Wands. Okay, so again, you're keeping your moves on the down low. You're doing the work necessary for success. Magician card. There you are, Gemini, in your reading. What nobody sees is that you are ascending and you are manifesting way behind the scenes. You, I think, Geminis, you're so intuitive that you see the handwriting on the wall. I don't think for one minute that you don't intuitively understand that something's going to be altered. We get five of pentacles is clarifying the five of pentacles. So again, we see the teardrop of the rose petal. Something that you really liked or something that you had invested in is going to come to an end quite suddenly. We get the energy of the five of wands. Again, the five of wands. You may compete for this slot I feel like there could be a layoff in which only 50%, well, but that's a lot, 50% of the staff is just told to go away, and I'm getting that it would be possibly very unfair, but there's a lot of competition, and I get the Six of Swords, you decide to move on. Six of Swords is healing energy, it's Aquarius energy, it's enlightened energy. I feel as though you have not been enjoying this element this job, this business relationship in your life. And let's see one more card. We have you being able to defend your turf. So for those of you um, who feel really defeated by something that a company has done, you're able to defend your money, your income. Uh, it, we see success for you. And Nine of Pentacles, because of your skill set, because of your ability to bring in money, it does look like you fare well through the transition. Why is the Five of Wands here? A couple of times, Seven of Cups. You're going to have choices. So it looks like you have more than one option. Tell us more about that daughter of pentacles so there may be a leaning of employers towards people who are younger people who they can pay less the other thing that i see here is they may simply say to you look at we're not gonna you know you have to take a pay cut uh and you're gonna make less money and so that can also motivate people who are more mature to leave what else do we have for the five of wands hanged man okay so i feel as though you're in a state of suspension you're looking at things from a different perspective why is a death card here we get the eight of wands oh you're getting the hell out of dodge you will not be able to leave fast enough so for the gemini's for whom this resonates i feel as though <coughs> Excuse me. There are company-wide decisions that will impact you. I don't think you specifically lose your job, although many will. I feel as though you get to stay, but you are also headed for the door because you feel as though whatever changes are being made are completely unfair. We get the death card. Five of swords. Yep. And we get people who are just playing games with you. Ten of Swords. Son of Wands, you're moving out of Dodge. So that's what I have. Gemini, I see this is a very successful year. It's I'm so happy that you are creating something over here. You intuitively know that you need a backup plan for this mess 
of a situation and a job that you've been invested in probably for 10 years, could be five to 10 years, but we really see that you are going to make your moves. Here we go, four of coins, you're able to hold on to your money, you're able to support yourself, you're able to do everything that you need to do financially. You have enough money, enough assets, and you certainly have uh, enough skill set to to not have a major loss here but you're moving into this exquisite magician card energy let's clarify that magician what is so magical that you're doing remember the flexibility card you've left room for yourself oh my god the chariot card coming in fast by july I see the time of cancer is a time that you manifest. You break out. You break out of the pack. You go for the big victory. You have a major win. And it's all a secret. Nobody sees this coming. Nobody around you. Not your competition. Not your fellow uh, craftsmen. And the star card. You reach star status. Gemini, Gemini, stay the course. You're powerful. Who's better than the magician at manifesting? Well, the emperor brings home the win and the chariot card. You be, you have rock star status. People are chomping at the bit to get you to work with them. A lot of partnership capabilities, collabs. And again, you're doing this all behind closed doors. I love it. Gemini, sending you so much love. Have a happy 2023.